So guys, we are now on our way to a Jewish graveyard. Well, we are now in Zulinchin and uh, there's an old graveyard before, well, it was before the Second World War, probably also before the first one. So we're going to take a close look at that now. Okay, now we are on our way. Uh, so, as I told you, it's a very old Jewish graveyard. It's like completely left alone. There you can see more lakes. It's like a big uh, company. They produce like cables, wires and stuff. And unfortunately they didn't put the plant here because otherwise probably the graveyard would be gone. But it's like there's nothing indicating that there's a Jewish graveyard. So you really have to know someone uh, about who knows about this place. So let's see. You can see already the gate. It's like uh, I will show you. I, I don't know what was up there, but they somehow put it off so maybe it was a Jewish sign or something. Well, I guess we will never know that. But you can see here that these are the typical, actually, medieval walls. So you see how they are shaped. So let's go. Well, it looks scary, this place, a bit, huh? So I hope this thing is recording since I'm using it the first time. So. So these are the graves actually, as you can see, they're somehow uh, opened, as if, as if so every, every grave was opened, so uh, someone tried to loot them probably, and here we come to a bigger one. As you can see, it's like uh, either a sink or someone was really trying to dig here and, and find something. Maybe maybe they thought that well when when the people were burying their relatives that they maybe were giving them something into the grave or rings or something or maybe even the well the keys, I don't know. Uh, maybe they were finding trying to find some gold or something. I don't know who digged it out actually if it was if it was uh, after after the war or before well but here um, you can see that everything is like written on German or in German. Uh, es werden dankbar dir die. Uh, well, it's quite worn out. Bis wir dich einst. Hmm. However, so or well, you could actually like take a piece of paper and scrap it, like with a pencil or pen, and then you could actually read it, I guess. But um, yeah, so these are the old stones. On the grave. Mm -hmm. But here it's not. This one has not. You see the small stone? Yes, why? Because they are putting something in the mem memory of them. So there are still people coming here, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone just put it like this. But uh, they are doing some. Okay, guys. I will show you the memory stones. Wow. 
Well, I will also post you um, the, the link, the, like the geographic position of the graveyard, so in case you want to take a look. But it's true, there are some stones here also, like two, two stone, I don't know. I don't touch them, who knows? I mean, don't want to be haunted by spirits. Here yeah, also, indeed. You see? There are stones. I haven't seen the came or it's the second time I'm here. So I haven't seen seen these stones actually before. But you can see that actually only the fundamentals of the big uh, well graveyard stones um, are there or tombstones. Just the sockets of the tombstones are actually there. And the uh, rest well, has gone. I don't know, maybe we Someone was using even the, the stones, maybe they were, well, they were expensive. No. Maybe if you guys could ask some of these trees, for sure they could answer, well, some of them. Here's a tombstone left. But it's with Jewish letters, so... I don't know, maybe... Some of you guys know Jewish letters. You can read it. Well, we try to, to put it a bit like this, because now you guys can read it. If, if there's someone who is um, able to, to just check the screen, yeah, that should be should be visible now. Just in case no one could read it and is able to read it. Sure, it's a piece of history. Yeah. Um, oh, and in case there is someone left who knows someone from here, because well, Poland was part of Germany, so they deported, of course many Jewish people to the concentration camps. So here's another one. Um, I'm just trying to put some light to it so that you guys can read it. Uh, if there's someone who can read it, of course. Yes, is there in this one? No, oh, yes, wait. I see. Yes. Ah! Der Frau Enstern Köhler, geborene Herzen, geboren am 22. November. But what is this? Leo, yeah. there's, it's written 5,500 or 5,610, but we are now in 2000. Yeah, but this is in here, and this one is here. They have another calendar. Yeah, I'm sure. Ah, okay. So it's the 10th. 
Okay, let's see it by yourself. That's what confused me was uh, that the calendar here is pointing out like um, something in the future, which would be really a bit, a bit weird to be in a future graveyard. But uh, it's a very different calendar, as I hear. So um, let's see this one. Well, but here they use our calendar, so I can see how old this place actually is. So this grave, this is actually dated 1781. Um, so, so like the the twenty two second of February, 1787, and the other one, well, it means died at gestorben am, so died at 24 September, 1854. So. This must have been a really, really, really old graveyard. So I don't know if um, if uh, if there's anyone still of the family or family tree uh, still living who has relatives. So I really ask myself, who's putting the stones, these little stones, to the tombstones, to the bases of the tombstones, the foundations of the tombstones? Like here, I saw it also. Like. Oh, someone put these little stones like here, you see. So. Yeah, so this is like, well, is it still medieval? 1700, I think it was, was, was no more the Middle Age. It was uh, the beginning of, of the Industrial Revolution or something in between. A cross? A cross? Ah, yes. Here you can see also a cross. Um, so maybe it was a mixed graveyard after all. At that time, maybe, maybe also maybe they were married to, or like, interreligious marriages at that time. Could be maybe. Well, it's an alternative. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tour. And, um, well, it's not too big, this place, but um, interesting. So I put you guys a link where you can find out where, where I've been for you. Yeah, and check it out if you want. Bye-bye.